What? Why are you staring at me like that? Never means anything good. You're... We are going to have a kid. <laughs> and finally, I'm going to have a little, little dozer air. A mini bulldozer. Okay, <laughs> Mr. James Dozer, I love you. But if we have a boy, he will not, I repeat, he will not have the same nickname as you. Before a dozer makes his entrance, I got to get some things in order. <laughs> well, we have plenty of time. Oh, my God. What, what is on your Jimmy. ear? What, 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 what? Stop. Is it like a spider or no, something? No, no, just be still. Get it. Jimmy, are you serious? More than I've ever been. My cheesy magician. Yes. Ah! Yes. Ah! I'm out. Did you hear what I said? I said I'm out. Oh, I heard you the first time. I just wanted to give you a moment to correct yourself. That's exactly what I'm doing. This isn't me. I don't belong here. I, I didn't spend all those years serving my country to be your lapdog. We play the hand we're dealt, Mr. Dozer. And myself, I wanted to be an astronaut rock star before I was capable of rational thought. <laughs> Up until now, you've played your hand very well. I think it unwise to leave the table just now. I came on as your head of security. That's what I agreed to. Now, everything that's happened, the shit that I've done, that's on me. I got to live with that. But I won't add to the body count. First of all, please mind your language. Second, you are free to do whatever you feel the conviction to do. However, much like the First Amendment, just because you are free to do or say something does not mean that you are free from the consequences of said action or statement. Listen to me. Mr. Durlow, my situation is changing. My life is changing. Now, I've got enough blood on my hands. You don't have to worry about me. But I'll be damned if I bloody him anymore. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Well, Mr. Dozer, it is getting rather late. You'll be wanting to get home to, uh, what is it, Ava? I'm sure. But Mr. Dozer, do sleep with one eye open. We leave at first light. I never knew you was such an impromptu trip taker. Well, if a friend of mine said we could use this place. Jimmy? I just thought we should celebrate. Uh, Jimmy. You deserve it. Are we coming back? Well, don't forget to pack mine. Consequences, Mr. Dozer. If you recall our last conversation, I believe I mentioned consequences. This will be solving for X in this little equation. Ava. Yes, Ava is a gorgeous woman. It's a shame what's going to happen to her. You see, I find trafficking a repugnant business personally, but we have an unsavory business associate to whom we are indebted. Handing over a rare beauty like Ava settles a score. <laughs> you see, Mr. Dozer, consequences. 
So sad. He's such a waste. Mrs. James Dozer. <laughs> so, are you gonna be teaching our child these cheesy magic tricks? <laughs> I'm okay with the coin tricks, but do I have to uh, be sawed in half or anything? Jimmy. <laughs> Listen, Mr. James Dozer. If we have a boy, I repeat, we will not be the same. as soon as you can. Yes, sir. I'm handling it. No, Senator. Your name has been kept out of it. Shame we can't test out the products. You sure are something to look at. Oh, uh, uh, fucking bitch! How did you ever get mixed up with someone like Dozer? It's a shame what's going to happen to you. And the baby. But we all must answer to someone. I'm no exception to that. You finished? This is the last place the number you gave me pinged. Listen, Doze, I, I don't know what shit you're in, but you gotta let me help. No. You saved my ass back in the sand. I owe you one. I'm not getting you killed over my shit. Then why did you bring me? Because you're the only one I can trust. At least let me set the perimeter. Just keep the engine running.
You certainly live up to that nickname, Mr. Dozer. But sometimes a little precision, that's all that's necessary. You were supposed to rise up with me. That was my plan. You were never my lapdog, you were my second. That's what I wanted for you. You are breaking my heart here, man. You talk too much. Jimmy? I'm okay. What about you guys? We're okay. Guess you owe me two now. I was always shit at taking orders. Oh, God. Come on, we gotta get out of here. For the dead guy's friends show up. This will make a really fun story to tell a kid.